This is a dolled of air that's being produced in one pour rather than two. The glass is cut and faceted the same way for both techniques. What we do is have a glass top table with the pattern drawn on acetate. Can you see the cartoon, the numbers under there? So that's the where the glass goes. And then we pour the black pellets or the black sand, we call it, around the glass so that we can get an idea of what the window is going to look like. Here's at the bottom, you can see what I mean. That's just temporary, just so that we can adjust the colors if the pieces don't look quite right. Then after we've done that and we're satisfied with the way the glass looks, then Sam is taking Sculpey, which we've colored with oil paint, and rolling it so that we get all of the pieces then are the same thickness. Regardless of how thick or thin the glass is, the final little cupcake kind of thing is the same thickness so that when we're pouring it makes it much easier to be sure that we're getting this, the epoxy the same depth throughout. There you go. That's another step. All right. This shows you. Uh, this shows leveling off the the black granules. We use the a long piece of aluminum here, and you can see the we've got the the pieces of wood right here. So we're going to end up with with the black granules being exactly seven sixteenths of an inch deep. That's how that's how thick the piece of molding is that goes around the outside here. And then after we've done this, then we'll start laying the blocks of glass on top of this bed of sand. So that's the end of this. Okay, the sand is level now, and we've put this upper rail on there, which as you can see is three quarters of an inch above the bed of sand and Sam is taking a piece of three quarter inch aluminum angle iron and screwing it down along the rail also so that we've got a a dike three quarters of an inch above the bed of sand that will hold the epoxy when we go to pour. Next we'll place the glass we make two different acetates. This one over here has got the holding position because otherwise the pieces of glass just get lost. And then this acetate is put over top of the black granules and the new pieces of glass then are just slipped under so that they're, they're there in place. You'll see that the glass is just resting right on the, the bed of granules so that when we pour the granules will keep it from soaking all the way down to the glass and uh, the, because our pieces of glass are resting on top of the granules they also uh, they won't the, the, uh, the epoxy does not go underneath each piece of glass. The pouring is done the same way as on the double pour method now you just pour around each of the glass blocks and the epoxy then will soak into the granules that are down there on the bottom just about an eighth of an inch into the granules which if you pour the epoxy three quarters of an inch deep that's what we that's the reason for these aluminum rails around the side if you pour the epoxy three quarters of an inch deep and it soaks into the granules about an eighth of an inch then you'll get between seven eighths and a full inch for the thickness of the panel and that's what you want. The uh, epoxy, or not the epoxy, the putty that we've got on the glass blocks helps you get the depth in the center um, fairly consistent. 
It's really more important that it be the correct depth around the outside, though, where it goes into the glass frame. The thing that's really nice about this way of doing it, you don't have to turn it over and pour the other side, which is just tremendous for saving time. That's it. Okay, here it is now where we've we've poured all of the epoxy down between the pieces of glass and we've sprinkled the granules on top so that we'll have a texture on the inside. And then tomorrow, after it hardens, then we'll start taking the frame apart and taking the epoxy, or I mean take the putty back up off the pieces of glass. Here it is today. We've taken all of the uh, Sculpey off the pieces of glass. We've taken the frame loose. You can see the, the uh, granules that made the original bed that we laid the glass on now make a soft bed for the panel to harden on. We need to leave it alone for about oh, 48 hours or so. Make sure the temperature doesn't get too cold so that the epoxy will completely set. During that time we'll clean it. We'll, we'll use a, a scrub brush and we'll, we'll scrub down the pieces of glass. But before long we'll be able to tip it up into the light and see what it looks like.